One day after the elections, hundreds took to the streets of Port-au-Prince. They're from Fan Milavalas, the party of former president Jean-Bertrand Aristide. We voted for one candidate and they want to take it away from us. We are on the street to tell them we won't let them steal this election from us. The protesters tried to get close to the presidential palace and the people were dispersed by the police. These people took to the streets after one of the leading presidential candidates, Jovenel Moïse, announced that he had won the election. These people claim that that's impossible because the counter protest continues. International observers here are asking the people to remain calm. But what is important is for the people to wait for the official results and not be swayed by political declarations. At the tabulation center, the results are being brought in from all around the country. They are digitalized and ingested in the system. It will be days before the first results come out. Officials here claim that the election was a success. Until now, I think there's a good perception about what they have been accomplished. So we hope that with the effort we do to provide a lot of information, explain the process, we hope that we'll help the people to get confident and maybe to accept the result. On Sunday, there were no major incidents, but not everyone got a chance to vote. Thousands of people live in Corai, a model camp built after the earthquake in 2010. But there were no polling stations there. People are facing the problems most Haitians face every day, poverty and hunger. Jacques Nicolas told us he feels discriminated. They didn't even consider to put a polling station. If we wanted to vote, we had to pay for transportation. We don't even have money for that. Turnout in the last elections has been very low, as many have lost faith in politics. But those who did head to the polls claim they will demand their votes to be respected and they're willing to go to great lengths to make their voices heard. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Puerto Prince.